Kratos Defense and Security Solutions has revealed a newly updated version of its XQ-58A Valkyrie Stealth Drone, now equipped with retractable tricycle landing gear. This new iteration is a significant departure from its previous versions, which were designed to operate without the need for runways, offering greater versatility for the U.S. military, especially as it looks toward future stages of its Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, program. The XQ-58A Valkyrie has traditionally been known for its ability to launch from ground-based ramps using expendable boosters and recover via parachute, allowing it to operate in environments where airfield infrastructure is limited. This latest model, however, introduces a conventional landing system, marking the third method of launch and recovery developed for the Valkyrie by Kratos. The updated design features a tricycle landing gear setup, with a nose wheel and two main wheels, and retracts neatly into protective fuselage doors when stowed. This development reflects Kratos' strategy to expand the Valkyrie's operational flexibility for various mission types, with particular attention to supporting the U.S. Air Force's evolving needs. Kratos is not only eyeing future U.S. Air Force requirements but also targeting the U.S. Marine Corps' MUX TAC Air Program, which is focused on enhancing the capabilities of F 35B aircraft in strike and intelligence gathering roles. The drone's adaptability, including the new takeoff and landing configuration, positions it as a key player in multiple combat scenarios. In addition to this upgrade, Kratos is working on a version specifically for the U.S. Marines, designated the MQ 58B. This version will incorporate advanced electronic warfare systems for disrupting enemy air defenses and is being designed to work seamlessly with short takeoff and vertical landing STAV, aircraft, such as the F 35B. The Valkyrie is already in use for experimentation and development purposes within both the U.S. Air Force and Marine Corps, contributing to ongoing research and validation of future military concepts. From a tactical perspective, the new CTOL, conventional takeoff and landing, configuration brings several advantages over its predecessors. Without the need for rocket boosters or parachutes, the operational process is streamlined, enabling quicker mission turnaround times. The addition of landing gear also increases the Valkyrie's potential fuel and payload capacity, enhancing its range and endurance, an improvement that could prove valuable in high-intensity conflict scenarios. Kratos has also set its sights on international markets, with the updated Valkyrie potentially appealing to foreign military forces. The modular nature of the system, combined with its lower operational cost compared to traditional strategic drones, offers an attractive alternative for countries looking to modernize their drone fleets. In the broader context, Kratos is positioning the Valkyrie to compete in future phases of the CCA program, despite not being selected for the first round. With increasing interest in collaborative air combat systems, Kratos aims to enhance the Valkyrie's relevance within both U.S. and international defense sectors, demonstrating its adaptability and expanding its operational potential.